My name is Yusuf Haddad, and I'm an Israeli Arab. I'm a disabled IDF veteran. Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. I was uh, born in Haifa. I am 33 years old. We moved to Nazareth. Uh, my father is a priest, so I had Jewish friends, Muslim friends, Druze, and of course Christian friends. So I grew up with the Israeli society, the whole Israeli society. But we used to play football together, yeah. I actually was a midfield player, defender midfield player, so I, uh, my, my target was to defend. Uh, like we do in Israel, to defend the, the country. So we do the same thing in the, in the team. <laughs> a suicide bomber came to Maxim restaurant in Haifa. Uh, she blew up the restaurant, uh, killing 17 people. Four of them are uh, Israeli Arabs. So I understand that it doesn't matter if you're a Jewish or Arab, as long as you are Israeli, you are uh, a target for a terrorist organization. Um, and, and eventually we are all Israelis. And this is my country. I knew that my decision to join the army and to serve in the Golani Brigade was the best uh, choice I could have, uh, could have taken. Golani, Golani, Shelly, Golani, Shelly. Golani once you're stepping inside this unit, it doesn't matter if you're Druze, Arab, Jews, doesn't matter what type of Jews you are, huh? Ashkenaz, Mizra, it doesn't matter. Once you're in, one minute, two minutes maximum later, you are part of the big and amazing family called the Gulani family. The Second Lebanon War. Following the abduction of soldiers Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, the IDF embarks on a campaign. Second Lebanon War. I lost uh, seven friends, three commanders, two of my, ch my uh, soldiers. I lost some of my friends because they said, treat him first. This is Golan. Wakeline was my commander. And Wakeline decided to jump on a grenade and save his crew. In the Second Lebanon War, uh, 2006, the 10th of August, Zbala uh, launched a rocket. It passed me. I flew in there and landed on uh, my belly. Uh, I understood that I was injured. I turned on my back and I understand that uh, my foot was cut off. Um, I had the blood coming from my face because of shrapnel who cut my face. Uh, I was also injured in my left leg. I started shouting, my foot was cut off, my foot was cut off. And my first thought was, oh my God, what I'm going to say to my mom now? And I'm imagining here, in my mind, I'm telling you literally, I was injured. Blood, I feel it comes, and I'm, in, I'm imagining her face. I told you not to get injured. Doctor on the field, I hear him in the communication, and he says, uh, so there is two options. Either you come and take him now and everything's okay, or you can come at uh, afternoon uh, at the tank ambulance and take the body. And he was serious about it, and, and I, I actually heard everything. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. But I'm strong. It's funny because you plan uh, your life and then God comes and uh, have other plans for you. Everything was cut off. Not only my foot, huh? but my plans. My the doctor tells me, uh, what's your father's number? I call him. No way. I called and he gave me the phone and said, Dad, I'm injured, but I'm okay. No, totally lie, huh? But I wanted him to hear me like this. I asked my mom to tell me her point of view of the story. And she said they were at home. And when my, pa my father picked the phone, you know, my father is a tough, tough person. She said, I never saw him so, so much white like this. He turned out to be white. About the rehabilitation, I can tell you that I had uh, two fights. One physical fight and one mentally. Mentally fight was even harder. I will limp. And I always said that I will play football. So my doctor came to me and he told me, listen, you get your hopes too much. I don't want you to be disappointed. We think you're, it's a miracle 
they, brought, they, they actually managed to attach my, my own foot back. There is nothing here, it's only mine. And they said that this is already some miracle. So for us, we see that you're gonna limp, which is an amazing rehabilitation. I said, I'm not going to limp, I'm going to play for One year later, I entered the office of the um, uh, of my doctor. I didn't even say anything. I just entered with a football and I started jumping the ball in my leg, with my leg. When I play uh, football, it's I, after, uh, after that, I can't walk for about two, three hours. Like, if you take a rope and you cut it, you put it back together, it's not the same thing. It's shorter. My goals is to help my society, the Israeli Arab society, and my country. So I established the organization Together Vouch for, for each other. I hope that one day everyone will feel part of this amazing country because we have an amazing country. But you know what? Mostly, I just hope to be human beings. Amen. I mean,